actually proves it. You know, they turned them into attack dogs, just like the Romans and the old knights from the round table. You know, it's a big dog. This motherfucker protects you. It's just right. So you're basically a knight? Huh? So you're basically a knight? Hell, I'm black, ain't I? No. Hell, I ain't no knight. I'm a fucking warrior. Yeah. I ain't a cowboy either. I'm a horse. I'd suck the dick of the dog that pissed on the tire of the car that dropped her off. And then I would spit the hairs out gracefully one at a time. <laughs> Thanks, it's pretty. Now, I learned from my daddy after about three years of doing it stupid. Uh, he started teaching me to break them when I was 12. He put me on a horse when I was eight. A horse, not a pony. And I. 12 years old, he went and bought me an old mare. So here's how you do it. Okay, so you charge him what you want. You never get in a vehicle by yourself. I always take some of your friends with you to help you catch it and get it saddled. And he said, to make a good horse, you had to uh, put him beside a great horse. Eminem, miles and minutes. Three things, and that second one was miles and minutes. Third thing is uh, make that some bitch have tender hooves and a sore back, and a lot of tender love and care in between. Because Corinthians speaks how a horse is a buying animal. You kill, you quit. But I like to rush. And which one y'all like? How y'all like your coyote cook? I've never, I've never had coyote. Medium rare. It's a medium rare. I, I, well, it smells too much like a mama sign I knew in, go ahead. It smells too much like a mama sign I knew in Okinawa, Japan. We ain't really gonna eat, I'm gonna make me a, a hoodie out of him, or her. Out of the coyote? Yeah, from the head down to the legs. I'll leave the teeth, take out all that, gut it. Basically, I'll just take the hide off of her, take the head, put it in the freezer, take the head and the brain to a taxidermy. He'll put the fake shit in it and it'll be like a war bonnet. Um, <laughs> I cheat to win at any time. If you ain't trying to do it right, do it quick, do it. I'm a former Marine. Yeah. Um, I usually don't like to hunt anymore since Granada because it just ain't no fun unless uh, they're shooting back at you. It was just Ronald Reagan telling Miguel Gorbachev that I can take a country too. But I got to, I got to kill somebody. First time I actually seen a man die and his eyes turned gray and he shit on himself and pissed his pants. I threw up and started crying. And my partners, my unit, were still fighting. 17 of us against about 42 of them. And I just stopped about I don't know, three seconds into the skirmish. He threw up. And they were still firing. And every time they just moved real slow. And I was sitting there throwing up and crying, looking at that tall stranger. Marines are born for two reasons. Two reasons only, nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less. We're born to die and kill, period. And don't worry about it when you die. Don't get your panties in a twist, because all you're going to do go to hell and regroup anyway and come on back. I got 17 confirmed kills in 1983 during the Grenadian invasion. I'm the recipient of the Bronze Star, I think 54 for 56 in the state of Kentucky to get that. Nah, uh, hell, uh, 57, I'm single. I have 13 kids, but 13 different. Mothers of my children, not no baby mama bullshit. Speak proper English, young people. <laughs> you know, 
My father had a saying. You hear me quote him often. My dad had said, if you can't speak Caucasian, you can't make it in this world. Uh, that stupid son of a bitch is the president now, but he is our president. I am a former Marine. If he called me, I guess I'm going to Korea to kill some gooks. Doing this shit here hurts. My medical records, I plan to see that truck and it's that thick. From construction and just being a ball player and fighter. I ain't no cowboy, I'm a horseman. Cowboys chase cows. I break horses so they got something to ride. Plus, I ain't politically correct. I ain't politically correct. Our country has gotten so weak, soft, and of all things politically fucking correct. Not politically correct again. Uh, white girls got booties now. Ah, dang it, I knew I'd get off her damn belly more. Oh, there goes it. Fucking... Oh. Damn, that smells like pussy. Good pussy. Pussy ain't good unless you got pinky your nose for you. <laughs> I still want meat eaters. Fucking smell. I usually can't smell shit. Something about fucking death just gets me excited. Right down the end here. I ain't fucking with that stomach, and I ain't fucking with that spleen. Somebody had a big fucking set of intestines. Oh, God damn it, this motherfucker's full of leeches. I was a criminal justice major and a psychology minor. I had 12 hours to get my degree. I made up my mind on a Sunday, and I was getting shipped to Paris Island on Wednesday. All because of my ego, and I couldn't beat out the start of free safety. We were in the same class, we were both juniors. I was heartbroken because of a fucking cheerleader up in the University of Louisville. I didn't want to go back to Russellville like so many athletes before me. And uh, I was standing on the corner selling dope or working in some fucking factory. So I took my summer school money, went to Memphis, Mississippi, Arkansas. Wound up in Chicago with a girl I knew from the middle. Yeah, I lied and told her I loved her just so me and her could ride on the bus, stay in motels, and waste my college money.